Hi YouTubers, resellers, and thrifters. My name is Carrie, and my channel here on YouTube is Be Carried Away. I'm a sometimes part-time, sometimes full-time reseller. And right now I am driving from New Jersey to upstate New York. We have an apartment in New Jersey um, because Mike is, is working as a nurse, a uh, nurse practitioner actually, um, and has a contract there. So we have an apartment, but our home is in upstate New York and I teach in upstate New York. Also all my inventory is up there um, at our house. Um, I don't have the space in the apartment to bring everything back and forth. So I do this drive once a week at least, um, but the semester's ending and so I plan to be doing eBay and Poshmark. Um, I also sell on Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, Depop, and I recently added Etsy and I had a, an amazing sale on Etsy recently so my next what's sold is going to be awesome. I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm sitting in traffic right now. You can see I'm going very slow but I'm on the highway so I've never done a driving um, intro, but we're just crawling along here through the Delaware Water Gap. And if you've ever been to this part of, um, this is in Pencil, the Pennsylvania, New Jersey border, it's absolutely beautiful along the Delaware River, gorgeous sunny day. So it's not a bad place to be stuck kind of going slow in traffic. And I just thought I would let you guys know that I'm headed to, um, I'm headed home. I have to go final tonight, it's the final, I'm so happy. So, um, but on the way I have time to stop at a thrift store. So I'm gonna stop at a thrift store in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. I've stopped here a couple of times in the past, so you might have seen a couple of other videos and I have really found a lot of really great stuff there. I generally look for hard goods there. For some reason, this hard goods area seems to be, um, bigger they have a lot more to offer um also usually I'm, when i'm there i'm passing through and i don't have a lot of time which is going to be the same for today i'll have just literally 45 minutes and uh looking for clothing generally takes longer than 45 minutes for me i love to source clothing and shoes and bags but um today will probably be a hard goods haul so come along with me uh, let's finish this ride up. I have about, I only have about six miles to go, but it's saying it's going to take 15 or 20 minutes. So I'll probably stop and get a coffee and I'll meet you in the thrift store. Thanks for coming with. Okay, so I head into my favorite thrift store, which is the Salvation Army. This one is in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. And when I go over to get a cart, I already have something to put in it before I even get there. And that is this really cool color green ceramic mid-century modern looking o-shaped vase and i do pick that up so i head over to the hard goods area and most of the stuff in this first section here is breakables ceramics dishes kitchen items figurines things like that so i'm going to be extremely careful about what i pick up i don't want to add to my money pile um i do see these really cute polar bears. Now $6.99 for this little figurine uh, makes me wonder about it first of all, but I'm happy to see that 99 cents day is on yellow today. So these are all 99 cents. So what we're marked up are actually pretty inexpensive. So I decide to do comps on these. Uh, polar Playmates or Hamilton is the name of the company. They're about from the mid 90s and they're all names. Unfortunately, the comps show that they just don't have a very high selling rate. Um, they don't have a very good average sale price and um some people have made a little bit of money with groupings grouping them together selling 15 or 20 at once i saw one for about 45 dollars but on average individual ones don't sell very for very high and even grouping them together at 99 cents each i would have had to to have a pretty high buy-in cost and i decide against them even though they're cute. I just don't want to um, purchase something with such a low profit margin. So I go back over to the shelving area and this is a mix of breakables and all kinds of items over here on these wooden shelves. I see um, some lotions, kind of a knockoff replica hat box. Um, I see here a couple of religious figurines and I do recommend picking them up religious figurines in general but these not so much they are resin 
they are small and so I do pass those over. Probably should have looked at that ivory colored figurine there, but I didn't. Um, so I'm looking through every shelf trying to kind of take it all in. It's, it's a little overwhelming when you're at a store that you haven't uh, been to in a really long time. Every single thing on that shelf is brand new and catches your eye. I see this set of um, pictures. They're just kind of inexpensive pictures on canvas, so I don't pick those up. At first, I think I thought it was uh, tile, the little mini pieces of tile, but it's not. It's just a canvas uh, photo grouping. I see another polar bear there in the corner, so somebody definitely dropped off their collection of polar bear items. And that does happen quite often in thrift stores, and so it is worth looking for more if you think you might find additional items. This figurine, this was ceramic. I just didn't like the look of that. The way that uh, Jesus's tongue was kind of hanging out of his mouth there, I just, I really didn't like that. I thought this was cute, so I pick it up and take a look. Um, I don't really see any markings that are identifiable. And I can't even really quite tell if it's vintage. So again, I'm not looking to add things to my money pile. I'm looking for things to sell. This is super cool. And um, this is coral and shells. So it looks like an, you know, a tourist item, but anything tropical, vintage Florida, vintage Hawaii things, I do generally like to pick up. Unfortunately, I saw this little chip here on one of the edges of the shells and it just kind of really ruined the overall look of that item. So although I love to pick up tropical themed decor items or sea items, uh, nautical, uh, beach, beachy kind of things, that just really wasn't in good condition with that chip. So a few trinket boxes, um, a little clock, some sayings, um, all kinds of things. This toucan here, now this catches my eye. This is really a nice ceramic. It looks hand painted. It almost looks like Tanarlo pottery from Mexico. Um, now I should have been clued into that hole on the bottom because it turns out that this ends up being a bank. And so it was clearly a tourist item uh, made as a bank, so it does not have the bank stopper at the bottom. Quite a bit of the paint is chipping off. I do end up doing comps on it, but they just are not very high. So I really thought when I first picked that up, I was going to get that, but I decide against it based on comps, based on condition, uh, missing the plug for the bank, etc. And that's just the fact that it was a bank, um, I think detracts from the price somewhat. So more, all kinds of uh, kind of modern looking trinkets, inexpensive, kind of cheapy looking little um, decor items. And I do see this biscotti, Noni biscotti. I've gotten burned on this before and I am always have my eye out for this. I like the black and white pattern. Um, I definitely put that in my cart. I think the price was really reasonable. It was only, um, I think that says $3.99. Unfortunately, again, for a $3.99 item with uh, comps at $20 or so, somebody's taking a vest offer, that's not a high enough comp for me to want to keep that. So when I did look those up, um, I didn't take it. But I do recommend looking up all Noni um, biscotti jars. They're very collectible. People love to collect them, add to their collection. I have sold a number of them. I've also passed over some that I probably should have looked at and could have made a nicer profit on. This really sweet um, cup, I'm not sure quite what this was. It looked like it was missing a lid, maybe perhaps um, some sort of a footed bowl, but um, it's not something that I pick up. Lots of grungy looking plastic flowers and things like that. Um, flowers can be quite expensive, so they are worth looking at sometimes. There just weren't any really nice, you know, silk or satin flowers there that might have brought a good price. Cake topper figurines. Um, the clock in the background, some ceramics. Again, I'm really drawn to pick up uh, tourist-related items. They don't always sell really well, but I just I seem to just 
you know, gravitate towards them and pick them up when I do see them on the shelf. So this was a little kind of another bear. And um, again, look, oh, no, this was the kitten. Yeah, this was a kitten. This had a battery. This was battery operated. It had a real um, bizarre look to it. And um, I just didn't know what that was. I still don't know what it was, honestly. But not something I'm going to pick up for resale. Again, I'm looking for a higher profit margin. I'm looking for things that are easier to ship these days. Um, since I am going back and forth to New Jersey, I need to ship pretty quickly. Um, I don't have a lot of time to do shipping. You know, when I drive back up to get my items um, out of where I have them stored here in upstate New York, I don't have a lot of time to pack and ship breakable. So the profit margin really needs to be there for me in order to uh, ship things out. Now, I do see these houses in the back, and I know that there are a lot of collectible Christmas house setups. Um, this one just looks like a cheaper knockoff version and so I don't pick that up this really is turning into a what I don't pick up video today but that really is important as well for watching thrift with me videos you don't always have a successful day with lots of items for me I'd rather walk away and leave something there than have too much you know junk on my shelves now these I absolutely love. These were really heavy. When I picked these up, I was surprised at how heavy they were. These are a pair of bookends with magnolias. They're kind of a plaster almost. Now um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put these in my cart until I turn it around and I see that pretty significant chip right there. And again, what I don't pick up. So I do the comps on these uh, bookends anyway, just to check and be sure. I've never seen these before, and I think they're just absolutely beautiful, nice and heavy. So they will, although they're heavy to ship, if you want bookends, you know, you do want them to hold a significant amount of books in there. I see that it's made by CPK, CBK Limited, 1995. So I want to show you how I comped these because there's a new feature that's been added to Google Lens. So I use the Google Lens app, I snap just a quick photo, and it brings up visual matches. Now, because this is a flower, it's not bringing up bookend flowers. It's just bringing up different types of flowers. So there's some gardenia, some magnolia. So it is catching... Um, the shape and the look of that flower but it's not getting the exact it's getting close but it's not getting the exact bookend that I need so this feature I love you can add to the, the items that have come up in your search selection you can add in some text and it will narrow it down so I put in bookend boom there it is there it is so I love that new feature it basically narrows down all the photos that it's brought up based on um just the photo itself and you can narrow it in with either uh, what the item is with the brand name with a year all those kinds of things so unfortunately with that chip and also with a number of them being listed that don't have chips and um, a pretty decent profit margin you know anywhere from 30 to 70 bucks but not something that I'm going to be able to pick up today if I see these again I certainly would if they were in better condition so now I'm moving on to uh, more of the hard goods shelves. I see those ceramic dog bowls. Or, um, this is Pyrex Cornflower Blue pattern. Um, this is the electric kettle. I think that this has actually been discontinued and you can't sell it. I'm not sure about that, but I would not have picked that up anyway because they were asking $18.99 for it. So I put that back going with the theme of this video today. <laughs> um, I had such high hopes coming in here, but again, I looked up the ceramic bank. Um, that's an insert of the toucan, and even with the damage and all of that, just definitely not worth it. So this was really pretty. Um, this was super heavy though, and for kind of a modern item, it was really, really heavy just be hard to ship so I put that back I did pick this up and look at it um I comped this and it's called the uh Cabernet series in um this 
kettle. This is an enamelware kettle, and both on Worth Point and doing comps, um, it just really didn't pan out, so I do not put that in the cart, although I thought it was quite pretty. A modern day bakeware item, lots of appliances and pans over here, pots and pans, bakeware, things like that. This was a pretty um, double teapot, but something kind of modern. Um, you can kind of tell from how shiny it is, glossy and also lightweight, not very well painted, that it's a more modern, kind of a cheap, cheap version. So not something to pick up for uh, resale. So I'm just about at the end of my shopping trip today and I have not been very successful at all. Um, the toucan that's in my cart there went back. Um, I do pick up now, at, as I was check, about to get in line to check out, there's a blue bin there with some new items to come out. I thought these ceramic tiles with the southwestern pattern were really beautiful. This one is um, signed, Kuhn, K-U-N-E. And I'm able to look up that these are earth tones, art tiles. Um, and in the southwestern pattern, some sell and some don't sell. It depends on the design, the style. Mine really, this is where I found it in this blue bin. Mine really didn't um, have a pattern that was very sellable. And so I put those back as well. Again, um, I'm just about to get in line to check out. They have some items over on this shelf that they price higher. I think this is super cool. This is like resin, lucite with all kinds of stones. I don't know if it's shells. Um, it looked almost like stone. So I put this in my cart. It's only 99 cents and it's weird and it's kind of ugly and weird and ugly sells. But guess what? When I got up to the counter, they told me nothing electronic goes for 99 cents and they counted a clock as electronic. So I struck out once again. Last ditch effort, I go over to look at the um, artwork and photos and it's definitely worth you know looking through pulling them out see what's behind i do end up finding a little piece here that i like that i pick up and it's a uh it was behind this mirror here i picked had picked up this it says a fisherman one jerk on one end of the line trying to find a jerk on the other end of the line kind of thing it was only a few dollars it needs to be cleaned up i'll probably wash it but that's the end of my thrift haul guys not very successful today, but hey, there's always another day to thrift. Take care. Good luck, everybody. Bye.